let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi-timeframe MACD histogram in the TradingView Pine script. The histogram is the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name MACD histogram. First, we take the higher time frame input. The default value is set to the daily time frame. Here, we take the user inputs for the fast, slow, and signal lengths. Then we calculate the fast and slow moving averages. We use the exponential moving average function for this. Then we calculate the MACD and the signal line. Then we calculate the higher time frame MACD and the signal line. For that, we use the security function. The first argument of this function is the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the MACD and the signal line. The bracket 1 written in front of them prevents the indicator repainting issue. The fourth and the fifth arguments handle the gaps and the bar merge. Then we calculate the histogram, which is the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. Then we calculate the color of the histogram. If the histogram is above the zero line and is rising, then we color it dark green. If the histogram is above the zero line and is falling, then we color it a faint green. If the histogram is below the zero line and is falling, then we color it dark red. If the histogram is below the zero line and is rising, then we color it faint red. And finally, we plot the MACD, signal line, histogram, and zero reference line. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, we are on the 4 hours time frame, and we are seeing the daily MACD and histogram on this chart. So that's it. That's how you can implement the multi-timeframe MACD histogram in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.